Welcome back to the Data Professor YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Chanin Nanta Senamat, and I'm an Associate Professor of Bioinformatics. And on this YouTube channel, I teach about data science concepts and tutorials. So if you're into this kind of content, please consider subscribing. So in this episode, I'm going to cover about how you can go about installing R, R Studio onto your computer and also how you can also use the cloud-based version called the rstudio.cloud. So without further ado, let's get started. So what you want to do now is to download R into your computer. So you want to go to Google, type in R project, enter, and then the first link, go to the r-project.org. And then you want to click on the CRAN on the left panel. And then you click on one of the links down below, which is nearby your own home. I, I will click on the cloud version. And so depending on which computer you are using, you will download the appropriate version. So on this computer, I'm using currently the Windows, so I can download the Windows version. And if you're on a Linux, of course, go, go ahead, download the Linux version. And if you're on a Mac, download the Mac version. So if you're on the Linux version, there are ways for you to install directly onto your computer via the terminal. So let's say you have a Ubuntu and then you want to type in sudo apt dash get space install space r dash base. Okay, and that will allow you to install the R base into your computer. Okay, and then let's say that you have already installed R into your computer. So the next part is to acquire the R Studio into your computer as well. So you want to Google for rstudio.com or Google for R Studio, and then the link will be down below. And then you will click on the download link here. Okay, scroll down and to the left, it says R Studio Desktop. So you will click on the download link. Okay, and then you click on the appropriate version for your very own computer. So it detects automatically that this is a Windows. So I can download this by clicking this link here. Okay, but because I already have a R Studio on my computer, I will not download it. So I'll fire up the R Studio, and this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is the R Studio. Let me maximize the window. So the R Studio is comprised of the console, the terminal, which is a tab which you can click to the left. Okay, so you could type in the commands here, and to the right. On, on the top, you have the environment. So when, whenever you assign a variable here to the right, the environment will also maintain that and let you see which variables you have here. I define another variable, and so the variable B becomes shown in the environment tab. And history will be a history of the commands that I have typed. And also there is the connections to be made via the files and database connections. And at the bottom part, there will be the file location, which is the, the files and the folders that are on my computer. And to the right, the tab here will show the plots and graphs that are created from the R code. And packages are the packages that I have installed on my computer, the R package. So I can simply click on install and then I can type in the name of the package that I would like to install. Let's say ggplot2, so I type ggplot2, and it will detect that. And so you will want to click on the package that you want to install and click on install. Or alternatively, you could also install a package by typing in install.packages, and then parenthesis, and then quotation, and then the name of the package that you would like to install. Let's say ggplot2, and I'll hit enter, and then it will start to install. So it really detects that, luckily I already have ggplot2 installed on my computer. So how do I know that? If I scroll down here, 
ggplot2 is already listed. Or another way is I can just type library ggplot2. And if I could successfully load the library, then it means that ggplot2 is already functional on my computer. In any R project, you would like to set your working directory. This is one of the very fundamental steps that I am recommending anyone to do because sometimes when you, you're following along some tutorials and then you discover that when you try to read a file and it doesn't work, what happens is because you might be in the wrong folder. And so if you're trying to read a text file and your code gives you an error, so the error might be due to the fact that you're not in the same working directory as you are supposed to be in. So number one, make sure that you are in the same folder that you want to be in. So let's say that I want to be in the folder called sandbox. And currently I'm in here, this root directory. So if I click here, it will show me what is my current working directory, which is not the path that I would like to be working in, right? Because I want to be working in the sandbox folder, but in reality, I am one folder up, okay, in the root folder of the home. So in order to go into the sandbox folder, I can click on the sandbox link, and you see that the contents of the sandbox appears here. And to the top menu bar, I would like to click on session, click on the set working directory, and then to file pane location. So this is the file pane. And notice here it becomes sandbox. Okay, so it's the same folder that I am in and the folder that I, I have most of my files here. So the code that I have here will generate a dendrogram, which will look kind of like this. So it is for one of my research paper. And so it is a circular dendrogram showing the relationship of the low activity peptides and the high activity peptides. So this paper has already been accepted for a publication in the PeerJ journal. So I'll share you the link down below once it becomes available if you're interested in that. That's pretty much there is to knowing the RStudio interface. If you want to run specific lines in the R code here, Okay, you can click on the control enter if you are on a Windows or on a Linux. But if you are on a Mac, so you want to type in the command plus enter will allow you to run the specific lines. And you could do this one by one, you know, command enter, command enter, and it'll just scroll down, 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 down. I just press and hold control and hit on the enter button. And then it just run line by line. And so this code generates the PDFs that you see here. Okay. So it generates the PDF files here. Let's say that you would like to have a file just like this. How can you do that? You can create a new file. You go to file on the menu bar, click on new file, click on R script, and then you type in some of your R code in here. And then you click to save, you click on file save as and then you type in the name of your code example code dot r what i like to do is type r as a capital letter enter and so there you have it example dash code dot r and the file is shown in the file pane location here okay so that's all for using r and r studio and let me show you the r studio cloud you can go to r studio dot cloud and then you want to sign up or you want to log in. So logging in is very simple. If you have a Google account, you can log in with your Google account, or you could also log in with your GitHub account. Okay, in a few moments, it will load. Okay, here it goes. So at default, it goes to your workspace. So to the left, you will see that you can create several spaces for your workspace. And in each of the workspace, you could also have many projects. So you could have many space. Let's say that you have personal projects or you have work project and you could separate that. Okay. Let's say that you have some projects for your research thesis. You want to put it in a sandbox or you want to name it as your research thesis. And you also have projects with your collaborators. Rename this to be collaborators, and then you have many projects shown below. And so for this, I have the Iris project that I have already created. I can click on this X button 
in order to expand uh, the window. So wait a couple of seconds and it should appear. Okay, now it loads. Here you go. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty much like a normal R Studio on your own desktop. I can type in a one, assign a value of one and to the environment, you will see one is assigned to A. B equals to two and let's say C equals to A plus B. I can run this here. And this is what I see. So it, it works like a native R Studio. And the good thing about this is that you can also share this project. Okay, you have to you have to change the permission to everyone and then you can share the link and then you could type in the email address that you would like to share. Okay, and that's all. And so in the next episode, I'm going to show you how you can create your first R data science project. So please stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.